Sag mal was. was. <lacht> Sorry, Levi. Uh, yes, what were you saying? I was saying, why are you staring at those two brats over there? Uh, um, was I, was I staring? <laughs> are you sure I wasn't just zoning out? You know I do that sometimes. <laughs> did, it, did it really look like I was staring? Is it noticeable? <sighs> Four eyes, you've been acting that way for quite some time now. You've been staring at that cadet quite often. What, do you not like them? Because I find myself staring at Aaron that way, or at least that often. It's mostly for intimidation, but some of it is because he irritates me. Is that the case here? Have they done something wrong? Do they need to be given cleaning duties? <laughs> No, Levi, you worry too much. I, uh, I just noticed that Sasha has been talking to them an awful lot, and normally she doesn't do that, so it just, uh, I hesitate to say that it concerned me, because really, it's just Sasha. What harm could possibly be done from her talking to someone else, but it's a little odd, don't you think? I don't usually pay attention to these kinds of matters. Why do you even care? In fact, why do you pay so much attention to that one cadet? I notice that whenever you stare at certain tables, the only constant between them is that that particular cadet is sitting there. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't notice. That's odd of you to notice. Uh, maybe, y maybe you're the one that's staring at them. <laughs> you realize that any kind of feelings you might have for them if they are unwarranted. For instance, if you dislike them for a personal reason rather than a professional reason, that is highly inappropriate. Oh, Levi, really, have you ever known me to have a grudge against one of our cadets? No, no. It's nothing like that at all. Oh. Well then, since we're going to be here for a while, and you usually talk my ear off anyway, why don't you elaborate? Explain why you've been staring at them so often. Go on, I'm listening. <laughs> well... You see, Levi... <laughs> I just noticed that Sasha and a few others have been <laughs> flirting with them recently. Oh? What? You expect them to get together? Oh, please, don't tell me that you honestly want them to get together. The Survey Corps is no place for relationships. You and I know that. In fact, with everything we've been through, how many lives we've lost, loved ones, close friends, it really shouldn't be a surprise that romance especially has no place here. <laughs> no, that's quite the opposite of what I was thinking. Oh? <laughs> um, you see, uh, I was, uh, uh, what? Usually you're not so hesitant when answering. What's going on with you? Um, 
I, uh, I was just worried that perhaps these people who were flirting with them were making unwanted advances, and I wanted to make sure that if that was the case, that I could put a stop to it, but they, they don't seem to mind. You said that in a rather odd manner, don't you think? <laughs> um, what do you mean? Well, normally if something positive happens, in fact, even when something negative happens, actually when anything happens, you always seem quite excited by it. You didn't seem nearly as thrilled to know, or to be telling me, that this cadet is not the subject of harassment. <laughs> I, I think that you might be reading too much into this, Levi. Really, it's nothing, and why do you even care? Normally, whenever I talk about something, you beg me to shut up. So, why is that suddenly not the case? Maybe because I think you're breaking the rules. <laughs> me? Why on earth would you think that? Yes, I am not the most regulated person, but I do abide by the rules. You know this. I don't break the rules unless we have to, to further our knowledge for the sake of mankind. <laughs> Why are you accusing me of breaking the rules now? I've seen the way you stare at that cadet. You look at them like... Like you're looking at a titan. Except... It's worse now. You look at them like you genuinely love them. And that is extremely inappropriate for someone in your position. Not only due to the age difference, but you are their superior. Any feelings that you have for them could potentially lead to special treatment, and we cannot have that in the Survey Corps. Even if you didn't lead to special treatment, any privilege they, they would get would immediately be thought of as, well, as a reward for being in a relationship with you, likely by their comrades. <laughs> what makes you think that I love them? Perhaps I just look at them that way because I see them as a close friend. And since when have you even been able to tell when other people are in love? If that were the case. <laughs> Which it clearly is not. For the past few minutes, you and I have been talking, but your eyes haven't once met mine. Even when I had to snap in front of your face to get you out of your little daze, your eyes remained locked on that cadet. Now, I'm not the expert on romance, but that certainly seems like something someone would do only when looking at someone they genuinely love with all of their heart. <laughs> well, as I stated before, I'm not one to break the rules, so it would be silly of me to even consider that I love them. 
and it would certainly be out of the question for me to feel jealous about other people flirting with them. Oh, so that's what this is about. You are jealous. <laughs> that's not it, Levi. I just said that it's completely out of the question. I, I'm not jealous, all right? It's inappropriate, so I'm, I'm not. I don't break the rules. I, Christ, I can't keep this up. Fine, fine. I, I'm jealous. I, I do, I do like them like that. Are you happy? Well, not particularly, no, but I am satisfied knowing that I was correct in my assumption. Now, as far as the rules go, you know that any relationship you would ever have with them could not interfere with your professional relationship. You know this, correct? Yes, of course I know that. That's... That's why I haven't... talked to them about this. I have the confidence. <laughs> Don't be fooled by that. But... I just... couldn't bear to tell them, and... either... be rejected and... have them think that anything I do professionally is a result of that, or have them feel the same way, but not be able to be in a relationship. I don't want that for them. I see. Well, I must say that these past few meals within these past few days have been the quietest and most uncomfortable of my life, actually. And I take no pleasure in seeing you like that. As much as I say it, I really do enjoy having you as a comrade. Your methods are awful, your ways eccentric, but you get the job done, and you get it done right. So, since you and I are the only ones that know about this, and I've been on Erwin's good side for a while now, I think that you should tell them how you feel. <laughs> you're... you're serious? about this? Do I look like I'm joking to you? And when have I ever been one to joke in the first place? And I'm not some kind of sadist who would just tell you that you can do something that would make you happy and then take away that possibility at the last moment. So, yes, I am being completely serious. I think that they would be good for you. They could help balance out your overall insanity. <laughs> Levi, this is the nicest thing you've ever done for me. I can't possibly thank you enough. Truly. Is, is there anything that I can do to repay you for your for your kindness well you could start by shutting up every once in a while because while these past few days have been uncomfortably silent it has still been a blessing to not be constantly hounded by you and your your experiments and your 
height increase. It's been uncomfortable bliss. So if you want to thank me, just shut up. <laughs> I'll do you one better. I'll even start sitting at a different table, alright? Oh, for the love of God. Just no PDA. That's the one rule that you have to abide by, alright? <laughs> I'll do my best, Levi. And thank you for letting me talk to you about this. I know that you're usually very closed off around people, around me especially, but I really appreciate you letting me be open with you about this. And thank you very much for allowing me to feel, feel better about my emotions. Whatever, just, they're a good cadet. Make sure you treat them with respect and be kind to them as you're kind to everyone. I think that you two would be good together. Just don't fuck this up. <laughs>